Hi, I'm Michelle from Quebec Cyclidé. Hi, can I help you? Do you mind if I feed your fish? Okay, that's a little weird. I guess you can, but don't think for a second that I'll be paying you. Wow, this is really a nice store. A lot of Christmas spirit for January, though. Whatever. Check it out. For those of you who are watching the videos every week, this is part two of a series that I'm doing on feeding all the fish in my store. Last week I showed you the African cichlids and what's this? Looks like I got some special mail. I'm going to have to show this to you in another video. In these boxes is a very special something that I have been waiting for a long time to be able to get in the store and actually had it years ago and haven't been able to get some ever since. So now I finally got some and tune into next week's video and I will show you what it is. But back to the subject. So we were feeding our fish. Today, stay tuned and I will show you the goldfish, the koi, the tropical community fish, my American cichlids, and of course, my saltwater section. So let's continue right where we left off. Next door to the African cichlids we just fed the glycaries are in my 90 gallon tank some beautiful goldfish. Uh, again, if you're on my Facebook or Instagram, I've got some good picture shots of these fish. Look, these, uh, my calicos are fabulous. This beautiful fantail. Cool. All right, now let's feed them. I'm still feeding them the cichlid three millimeters. These are goldfish. They are not the most finicky fish. And it keeps them healthy, it's good food. I love the North Finn food. Fun fact actually, wow, like, fun fact about North Finn, Quebec Cichlids is actually the first fish store in Quebec to sell this food. I was given a plug by one of my clients who had bought some fish off of me and we got talking and he told me he was feeding this food and since it's Canadian and I love uh, supporting fellow Canadians and then I read the recipe and was even more sold. I tried it out for about a month and loved the results so I started, we started selling it and now it's all over the place. If you're wondering, no, I'm not distributing it. Yeah, this is cichlid three millimeters again. They actually, North actually sells koi food, but I only have three left, so I don't, I'm not gonna bring it in. I'm not gonna open a bag just for three koi. I'm surprised I still have this one. This little guy is my favorite koi because look at his anal fins. He's got one that's, it's not poop, it's orange. He has one orange and one white one. So cute. And then actually I have some really beautiful ones left. And if you are interested, since it's the winter, they are 50% off to add them to your, your tank to grow them out a little before the spring. So now we're gonna go in the tropical fish section. And you're gonna see some spoilers from the next Fish Star Extreme makeover because we started working on it, but we haven't had time. The holidays were utter chaos over here. So you're gonna see some of the aquariums are a little different than the others. And now it just looks weird, but eventually it, they'll all be the same. And it's a big job as well. So we can't just do it all in a day. I wish we could, but not gonna happen. So let's go with the tropical fish and see what's up in these tanks. So in the middle, I always start with the middle. It's just the easiest one. Here I have, here I have the female guppies. A couple of uh, rams in there as well. The tiny, look at them, they're so tiny. Electric blue rams. So that I feed some, the, the cichlid one millimeter as well. 
which is usually I feed the community. The recipe's a little similar. The community's a little um, heartier, more protein in there. And I feed obviously flakes with guppies because and they're always fish with small mouths or that have trouble with the, the pellets. So I, I do a little mix for these guys, for the tropicals. Ah, trying to get a shot without algae. This is the uh, golden ram. Oh yeah, I've got a lot of rams in here. Next door are some bigger fish. Look at that, my Oscar. And there's a white convict that just hid behind there. It's probably gonna come out with food. Okay, I'll feed you. Oh, wow, hello. Welcome to the party. Okay, one last one, just because you asked. Oh, no, you didn't eat it? You gonna eat it? There we go. Oh, fine. No, you don't get any more. Next door. It's neighbors. These are platies. Platies, I just give some flake food. Platies, some rummy nose tetras in there. Let's put my fingers in because they're always wet, so everything sticks on them. Can't go wrong with flakes for platies and tetras. And these have a lot of um, shrimp in them, so it's really good for their diet. I have hundreds of these. I'm gonna have to import some, I'm gonna have to get some more because the tank looks empty. Although I am trying to empty the tanks to do this. Oh, this is such a spoiler. I'm spoiling it. This is what the future ones will look like. I'm obviously gonna have to fix the lighting, but they're separated. Well, look, these are the old uh, pots that don't really fit. Let's see, they're separated. And this is going to be an overflow. Well, so it's staying in water. It's going to overflow in here and then go out into the um, into the hole. We're also going to have some uh, plumbing that's going to come here to put the water back in the aquarium. So for now, in here I have giant Danio. I have a kissing gourami, and yeah, sorry, two two giant Daniels. A little bit of flake food just to open up their appetite. Couple pellets there. Oh, look at him, he's kissing the food. Is he? Look, that's why they call him the kissing gourami. He's too busy kissing to eat. These giant Daniels are just going crazy. Give them a couple more pellets. Oh yeah, they got it. Woohoo! What a weird face. All right, in here are some Bolivian rams. They're still so tiny, but look, they're starting to color up. Oh, this guy's cute. A little pink. These are my Bolivian rams. I'm so happy they're coloring up. They usually come up to eat. I just put a bit to open their appetite there. Come on. Let's eat, everybody. And that's a, I'm not going to give them too much because they're little fish. On this side, it's the other, the second one. Isn't this going to be nice? So these aquariums that are way too big, I separated them in two. And yeah, this is not going to last, but it's what I had. It actually doesn't even fit left, right? All right. So for these awesome guppies that I got, this is actually new fish. 
I got in this week. I didn't advertise them yet because I'm too busy making videos. No, I'm just kidding, I just didn't have time. So I'm gonna have to beautify this tank, as I said earlier, for the, for the advertising. Uh, these are, oops, these are all male guppies. So colorful. And in here are a couple of, well, a couple, a little school of cardinal tetras. Food is falling gradually. A minute. Yeah, sometimes they're a little too scared to eat at first. There's a lot of movement here at the store, so they're hiding. And they wait till the food's all over the place for them to come and eat. These are considered a basic fish, but they're actually pretty fragile. If you're not good with water changes or whatnot, you're probably gonna have trouble keeping them. All right, well, these guys are, I'm just gonna eat later. There. Send the food down for them. And they went back to hide. All right, so this tank, I'm so sorry. I didn't have time to siphon the bottom. I have some hyphen tetras, some, uh, what do you call these? Red tail sharks. You can really tell with the lighting. A couple of tetras, and I have one flame gourami that is, has been hiding for since yesterday, since I sold his friend. Now, let's see, I'm gonna feed these. I send in some cichlid one millimeter, it's for the sharks because they like to eat it on the floor. There you go. Now the tetras are like, hey, where's my food? And it's up here. You have to siphon that out. I'm not the only one that overfeeds here, so. And then the tetras are eating their food. And here this one comes out, yeah. Mm -hmm. The trick is to really just look at your fish see what they need and if they're not eating well adjust because maybe they're scared maybe they don't like the food maybe they'd rather another kind of food this other floor aquarium and this is why i'm changing the uh the tanks here because i hate them because no one sees the floor aquariums and taking pictures here is horrible these are some rainbow shiners and i have some dwarf rainbow fish it's a rainbow aquarium that's on the floor no one sees Kind of sad. Thanks. Come and eat. Yeah, they don't need that many flakes, you know. See what I'm feeding? If that's what you're feeding your fish, feed less. Or just feed in smaller, um, smaller portions. These are rainbow fish, the Melanotania. Now I'm on top, I'm on my top row, and this is very fun. And this is also one of the rows that nobody sees because it's too high. And here I have some, I almost fell there. Solid, okay. <laughs> These are paradise gourami. And we're feeding them pellets, because they like pellets. Eat your pellets or no dessert. This is one of the fish that are so different from one to the next. 
Usually they are, they are like this. They're starting to color up these actually. You can see what they're gonna look like. The orange with the red tail. So once we're done with the Paradise Grammys, their neighbors here are really camera shy or just shy in general. I have some electric blue jack Dempsey's. I have, what else is in here? Some Rami Racy and a little Betta that, well, he's in a little isolation tank in there. This is just a common Betta. I don't have those racks with the Bettas and glass bowls, like glass jars. It's a little bit of flake food for this guy. Try not to overfeed him. I think I did good. Getting the hang of it. Just took six or seven years. As for the others, let's see if they come out. Always lure them out with flakes. You can imagine that when I take those little videos that I show of the fish or the pictures, they're always coming out and they're always beautiful. Well, tell yourself that's a lot of patience that it takes. Hi! The electric blue jack Dempsey are starting to color up. They're still so tiny and so cute. They get big. I wasn't able to clean the algae up. Well, I'm able to. I just didn't do it. Baby. All coming out wondering what's happening. These are the regular rams, the uh, German blue ones. So the next ones, we're gonna have to move down and then back up. The next ones are fish that went on a TV show. These exact fish there went on a Quebec television show for kids. And now they're back here with me because, well, obviously they weren't going to keep them. They just wanted to show them off. Here are my man-eating piranhas. I feed them human flesh. What do you think these flakes are? Okay, it's been a long day. Honestly, it has. It's been a long day. I cut a couple times because they've been people coming in. It's like around 5, 8, 5 p.m. by now. Eep. It's finished feeding. All right. Look at my man-eating piranhas that are going to be eating shrimp humans. These fish actually have a lot of experience in front of the camera. I'm surprised that they're so shy. Oh, one of them started to get it. I've been feeding them a bit of everything. I've been feeding them flake foods at first, just to get them eating, to get them understanding that I'm feeding them. Then I'm gonna go in and get them some pellets. And if they're really good, actually I gave them some yesterday, they'll probably still have taste for it. I gave them some brine shrimp yesterday. The same stuff I'm feeding my salt water. at all. Oh, they ate everything. So I'm allowed to give them some more. That. There it is. Oh, and I overfed. Oh, no. I think they'll be I think they'll finish it off. Last but not the least in my uh, tropical fish are my Kohaku platies. Look at these cuties with some uh, Corydoras anise green. So I'm just gonna give these platies a, a bit of flake food. And I forgot my pellets. So I'm gonna put the pellets, the um, algae wafers in there for the Corridoras. Mm -hmm. 
These are some good looking flatties. We don't get a lot of these around here. Kohakus. Half pellet. So this is horrible footage of the Corridoras that found their pellet because they just lifted everything up to eat it. And they're eating all the stuff on the floor. They're not quite sure which one they prefer. They prefer the little the algae wafer. Do they prefer the old junk on the ground? They're not quite sure. We all have different tastes. I can't judge them for that. I'm not a fan of green peppers, so, you know, it's the same thing. All right, enough of that. So before getting the funky stuff, I have this one aquarium left. We used to have some angels in there, but now we sold them. Also, I have some platies here. This is my planted tank. A bunch of plants, just regular freshwater plants. So if you're seeing these and you think one of these would look good in my aquascape, let me know. We're gonna feed them some flake food to these little platies. It is way too much food, but it's gonna go to the ground and I have a bunch of um, bottom feeders in there as well. All right. So we're done with the fresh water and the African cichlids. Now we're gonna go to something a little more funky. Well, all the funky stuff. So I unfroze the, this is what I feed them every day. It's brine shrimp and spirulina. And we put it in a little bottle like this. And once it's on, well, once it's uh, room temperature, we can start feeding them. And by them, I mean the salt water section. Yay! Let's go. Surprise. This guy's all like being surprised with food. Now they like being surprised with it. Nemo's running around, chasing the dead food. All right, next stop here in this aquarium, we have Black Nemo and another, uh, what do you call it, a uh, fox face. Hey cutie. I fed them a lot, but there are a bunch of anem anemones in here. Don't want to get some food. This one's closing up. I think it got something. Oh, oh, perfect. Did you see that? Did you see that? It's, it's really in a bad angle. Yeah. All right, now everybody ate. So these are the Wyoming Whites. If you saw them, I posted a nice picture of them on Facebook. Picture is worth a thousand words. This is raw footage, so. Uh, there, got some up. Gotta shake it, oh, now that's too much. Eat up. You've got way too much food. And here is the exquisite fire fish. Usually waits till the food comes down. Oh, no, not today. Okay, so this was hard to film. Especially harder with one hand holding a camera. Next up in this little tank, I have another Nemo. Why is he alone? Well, he had more friends, but we sold his friends and now he's kind of lonely. Come and eat. It's okay, we'll get him more friends later.
Alrighty. Here are Ben's favorite fish, the uh, convict blennies. They look like eels. They're not eels. They're blennies. They can get to a good side and keep their eel-like shape, but their colors change. Eat up. The royal grandma came for the party. Bon appétit. Next tank, we have a firefish and a six line wrasse. It's here. Come on up. <laughs> I gave them a lot of food, but they all insist on fighting for the same ones. Up, we have the spotted cardinal. With the, in his tank, he also, there's also a arrow crab, a bicolor blenny. Uh, but these days, they don't need the same food as him. Spotted cardinals actually sleep during the day, so that's why they're usually caught looking at the uh, the wall. Why are you eating behind the outtake? There you go. Had a boy or girl. All right, well, I didn't think this one would be able to make it boring. Ugh. In here, I have a six line wrasse. Oh, and a maroon uh, gold stripe, a maroon clownfish as well. We have the Bangar, blah, Bangai Cardinal in this beautiful secondhand tank I have for sale. For you know anyone, it's fully equipped. Livestock sold separately. Yeah, but what do you want in it? This guy. So now that we're done with the salt water, I prepared some beef hard strips. Yeah, <laughs> for my discus. Let's go feed the discus. Look at these guys. They are, they have colored up since the last time you saw them. I only have in the small ones, the blood red, the pigeon bloods left. No idea why. Hi babies. Oh yeah, I'm still fe hand feeding them. Cause they're my best friends. If you want to see more discus feeding, I made a whole video with just this. You see them eating in my hand. You see me going crazy, falling in love, and then staying in love forever. All right. Look at these guys. They're so excited. I know it's coming. Hi, love. Oh my God, I'm in love. are my best friends too. Don't tell the others I called them my best friends. They'll get jealous and vice versa. Yummy. These grew as well since I got them. So 
that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, well, there is plenty more where that came from. Subscribe to the channel. I post a new video on every Thursday, so make sure not to miss a single one. If you want more fishy content in between my weekly videos, well, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, on Twitter, and I have a great website where you can shop online and see all the fish I have for sale. If you like this fabulous Cichlid Geek t-shirt, they are available on my website. Every sale helps a lot and encourages me to continue doing what I'm doing and making amazing videos to share for you and all the YouTube community. So thank you to everyone who has bought and who has purchased on my website and who encourages me every week. You guys are the best. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week for this special mystery product presentation. Bye-bye.